Saturday Night Baseball downtown at Petco Park in San Diego. Tonight it's the third of this four game weekend series between. It's Padres baseball on the show. Denelson Lamet, a right handed native of the Dominican Republic, will be the starter. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, you think this guy's tough to hit? Take a look at that ERA in the low twos last season. If he pitches like that again this year, he's going to be awfully tough. He's going to be fun to watch in this one. Stepping in next, Nick Ahmed. He's hitless in the first two games of the series, 0 for 8. Now the pitch. Good slider there, and he gets ahead of him, nothing in one. And we'll see some 40s before things are said and done tonight. Right now, 51 degrees at first pitch. And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Balls and strikes belong to Mr. Jerry Hillsdale. You know, Dero, I think Jerry Hillsdale is a very good hitter as umpire. Doesn't give much on the edges. He's going to make you put the ball into play. Oh, I love me some Jerry Hillsdale. You have to come over those 17 inches. He ain't giving you anything on the outside corner, and that's the way it should be. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. High in the air into shallow left center. Left fielder coming on. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. So a rather pedestrian start. So stepping in is Ricky Henderson. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The left fielder, Ricky. There's a line drive base hit to left field. Hey, this game's starting off exactly the way they want it to. Lead off single in the bottom of the first after their pitcher went out there and threw a donut on the board. Boys are flying around. In now, Tony Gwynn. So this is pulled in by the shortstop. And in steps Manny Machado. His career numbers in this matchup. He's got three base hits in 17 at bats. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. This is a tough guy to turn two on. It's got to be hit hard. And if you're an infielder, you've got to catch it and get rid of it quickly. The 0 1 pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. There is Ahmed. Oh, but it's a wide throw to second, and they can't get the out. So one down with a pair of runners aboard. And up next, former World Series hero Joe Carter. Pitches a cold strike. The throw. Not in time. He's safe at third as they pull off the double steal. You know, I was pretty surprised to see him on the move to third because it didn't seem like he had that much of a lead. But he made it work out. That was really impressive. Ground ball left side. And that's through into left. A base hit. Now the throw comes in to hold that second runner at third, so they're at the corners now with still only one away. Second baseman, Roberto. Boy, that's a tough one right there if you're a pitcher, Dero. You think you make a decent pitch, ball hit to the hole right through there. You're hoping it can get back. And the run is in to score from third. It's a 2 nothing ball game. And he'll reach second now with one away. Pitchers jumped out of the frying pan and into the fire here. A second run scores, and now he's got two men in scoring position, and his danger of letting this thing get completely. There's a swing and a ball hit in the air, and a ball that he got every stitch of, as that one, without a doubt, is gone. What a way to start this one off. The score is top of the frame, and you answer with a bomb in the bottom of the first. Stop. Stepping Ozzie. in now, Ozzy Smith. Smith. As he will swing at the first pitch and line this one into left center, and that's going to get down for extra bases. Around second, he's on his way to third. The relay throw, no. he is in, in there, there with a triple. And that's his first triple of the season. The way he exploded out of the box, you knew he was determined to get the third, and he made it happen. Yeah. Alex Young comes on to work much yeah. earlier than anticipated. Obviously, as he'll try and right the ship in the very first inning. That'll bring up Gary Sheffield. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And 
and that's the second out. Up next, it'll be the pitcher for the Padres, Denelson Lamette. And the Padres trying to make this first inning even better here. From the stretch, as he gets a curveball at the letters, but swings right through it, it's nothing in one. Well, guys, you take a look at this Diamondback squad as they begin play here tonight. They come in in a real funk to start the year. Still searching for what's been an elusive first win. Yeah, Matt. And oh. we'll just leave it there as they make the play to end the inning. But not before five cross. Now the first pitch. Bouncing to the left side. Throw is in time for the first out of the second. And stepping in, Christian Walker. First delivery to him. In the air, down the line in left. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. Eduardo Escobar is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. His prior history versus this arm, he's 0 for 4. That's a great take right there. Great pitch recognition to let that one go. Opposite handed, that's coming across the plate. You might think he got a shot to stay inside that one. Still 1 and 2 as he fouls it away. Here's a pop up now. Carter over to his right. And that ends the inning. So one, two. Last half of the second set to go. And at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Ricky Henderson. This is when you got to get selfish. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. Peralta going back at the track. The wall. And that ball will stay fair. And it's gone. A home run. So a big home run for him, certainly. Number 300 for his career. Well, you have to appreciate what he's been able to do in his career, guys. He's truly established himself as one of the great power hitters in the game today. And this is a milestone he can be really proud of. And there are a lot of very good hitters that never got 300 dingers in their career. Tony Gwynn. Hard on the ground towards short. Ahmed has it. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. So here is Manny Machado. Lifetime versus this arm. He's one for five. Line drive base hit. You know who's the happiest man in the building right now? His starting pitcher. He's got a big old smile on his face. He knows he has a 6-1 lead here in the early going to work with. You can't let that take away your edge, though. Into the box, Joe Carter. Lying towards center field. Marte is there. Two gone. Digging in, the switch hitter, Roberto Alomar. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch as he rips it on the ground to second. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. But the Padres add one, thanks. Paul Calhoun will stand in now. And Dero down six already in the early part of this ball game. What's the mentality oh, for them as they try to work their way back? You know what, Matty? This is where you take some prideful ABs. Oh, I've been down count. six before, and I've come back from even further down than that in some big ball games. You have to find a way to just relax and start piecing some good ABs back to back. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Paul Calhoun becomes the first out of the inning. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. On the ground, softly towards second. Alomar fields it cleanly. And here's out number two. 
Next up, Alex Young. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. Swing and missed that time. It's 0 and 1. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Center fielder coming on. Long run. Buddy gets there to track. And we're back for the bottom of the third. Let's check in with Heidi Watney. Digging in will be Mike Piazza. First pitch of the A.B. now. Hot shot on the ground is short. And the throw to first is in time. One gone. Next to stand in is Ozzie Smith as the switch hitter will bat right handed here. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. Looking up is Peralta. It crashes off the Western Metal Building and it's out of here. And with one swing at a bat, he shows you why he's dripping with tools. He's got the speed. He's got the power. You don't know how to attack this guy. You can't put him on base with a knock or a walk or he'll just end up on second or third. And if you leave something over the heart of the plate, that's what can happen. Loud noises right here, fellas. Hey, he's going to have to mix it up a little bit more because they are on his stuff. Standing in now, Denelson Lamette. Fielded cleanly. One there. Relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. One scores in the inning coming. And now here is Tim LoCastro back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0-1. Here's the pitch. And this is foul tip of the plate right off the arm of the catcher behind the plate. Ouch. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about every at bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. David Peralta will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Oh, he's finding his group out there now. It's 0-2. If he's able to locate that two-seamer down at the knees, he's going to get a ton of swing and miss and a ton of ground balls today. Fouled off. Another 0-2 home. Close there, but he doesn't get the call with the breaking ball. Hey, there's not a lot you can do with a slider breaking down and in. Uh, we'll leave it right there as he strikes out, and that ends the inning. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And next will be a speed thread in the form of outfielder Ricky Henderson. Oh, and he gets a hold of this one as it's in the air to deep left. Does he have another one? He does. It's another home run. They've got the elevate and celebrate thing working in this one, guys. That was their fourth big fly of the game. Hero, I don't know what you think, but uh, this is one of those cases where I think the hitters right now, they must be seeing beach balls up there right now. There's four bombs already in this one. Oh, yeah, this line up from top to
has power just oozing out of it. And this guy's missing over the heart of the plate. That's what happens. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. And it's fouled away. All the makings of the big inning right here. One already left the yard, and the power hitters are coming up. Back up the middle. Reined in. And the throw is not going to be in time as he's able to reach base safely. Hey, tough play right there, but let's be honest. Let's stay in the trust tree. He had trouble getting that out of his glove. If that exchange was cleaner, I think he would have had the out. Here's Manny Machado now. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Center fielder giving chase. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. And it'll be the cleanup spot for the Padres. Joe Carter, a hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. First pitch on its way. A swing by Carter, and this one's driven to left. And it's gone onto the lower basket of the Western Metal Building. It's a two run homer for Joe Carter. Number 397 for him now as he draws closer to 400 as the blowout continues. Guys are really putting on a show here. That dinger brings the total up to five for the game so far. Amazing stuff today, guys. Yeah, Matty V. How about this, D-Row? If you come to watch offense, you pick the right game to come and see. Five bombs from one team. Everybody in the lineup. They're making fun right now of the guys who don't have a homer in this one. Riley Smith gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. So the next to bat will be Mike Piazza. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Scorched to third. Over to first, and that retires the side. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Patel Marte is in to start things off here as he looks at a cold strike. It's nothing in one. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but it's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. Fastball got him looking as that had two seam action on it, one gun. You hear that phrase, climb the ladder all the time? And that's pretty much what he did right there. When you change the hitter's eye level oh with each pitch and that at bat, it becomes very hard for him to adjust and put the bat on the ball. He made that strikeout look real easy. That evens it up one and one. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. And he fouls this one off. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Long run for the center fielder. He gets there, and that's the second out. Eduardo Escobar standing in. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Just gets a piece of it. Strike 1. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Hey, offense needs to check itself right here. They need to make this starter a little bit more uncomfortable. One strike away from five shutout innings. The 0-2 once more. Neither guy giving in here, and they'll do it again. The 0-2 once more. Fastball called strike three and the side is retired. So one, two, three, go the into the box. Ozzie Smith as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. Grounded back up the middle. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Well, with that base hit right there, D Road, he's one double. He's three quarters of the way to the cycle. He gets one more A.B. All he needs is a double. Yeah, and I got to be honest with you. If I'm hitting right here and I have a chance for a triple. Swing and a ball hit high in the air. Deep down the left field line. This has plenty of carry. Gone! 
It's getting pretty comical now. Their sixth home run of the game, and they're not done yet. They say hitting is contagious, and apparently that applies to the long ball. It's looking like batting oh, practice out there. Denelson Lamet is in for the third time as he swings and misses at that one. It's nothing in one. Here's a late swing and a no miss, ball, strike two. Strike. No outs, nobody on. High in the air into shallow left center. Ahmed retreats to the outfield grass, and he has it for round number one. Boy, he showed some pretty good range, heading pretty deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. At the plate now, Ricky Henderson. As he connects on the first pitch with a fly ball to center. Center fielder on the run. He makes the play. Really had to hustle to get to that one. Two gone now. Next up is Tony Gwynn. He's working on a one for three thus far. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Looking up is the center fielder. And it's gone as they add still another. So batting practice continues here today as they notch their seventh home run of the game. Oh, Matty B, this has turned into a lopsided one here. How about this, d -Row? Seventh home run of this game alone. This is crazy. They knew coming in they had the lineup to do damage, but this is getting absolutely out of hand right now. This guy is missing over the hard work. The other He's side out. is retired as they make the play. All set for the start of the inning. And coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Cole Calhoun. 0-1. Good downward action there, and it's 0-1. A swinging nope. strike, okay. and now it's 0-2. He hasn't thrown that pitch much all game. I got to believe as an offense, you just got to throw that pitch away and move on to the next one. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Cole Calhoun becomes the first out of the inning. Steven Vogt is at the plate now. He's quickly behind 0-1. Offensive game plan needs to change right here. They need to get a little bit more aggressive. It's too late to try and work counts. Fouled away. Oh, man, that's a frustrating one as a hitter. That pitcher missed right there. He did not want to hang that breaking ball with two strikes, and you foul it away. You have to regroup. You're, You're not seeing play. that again. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Steven Vogt goes down for out number two in the top half. Geraldo Perdomo is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. And he struck him out. So it might be time to begin the countdown as he's now gone through six innings without allowing a base hit. Diamondbacks down in order. Still looking up at a 13-0 score. Yoan Lopez gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. First pitch of the A.B. now. Fly ball out toward left center field. Long run for the center fielder. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Next to hit is Roberto Alomar. Flew out last time up. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B., certainly. And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. Marte is back to the track as he takes it for out number two. Up next, Mike Piazza. He grounded out last time up. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. Med fields it cleanly. Throw to first, beats him easily, and the side is retired. So they go quiet. 
So the lineup flips over and digging in Tim LaCastro. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure Matt that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt the first pitch. Hey. What a performance so far throwing first pitch strikes to 90 percent of the batters. It's hard to get any better than that. That's in there and he's deep in the hole now. Oh. Two. Wow that's four straight K's. He's knocking them down. He's looking for number five right here. You can tell this guy on the mound. He is pitching with a whole lot of confidence in this one. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Tim LaCastro goes down for the first out in the seventh inning. In now, Nick Ahmed. And she'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing in two. He's still looking great to me out there on the mound. Punched out the first guy in the seventh, and he's jumped ahead in the count right here. Looks like he could stay in this game a while longer. The next little two pitch to him misses outside. Talk about frustrating as a pitcher. You make a great pitch like that, and the guy just lays off of it. That barely missed the zone. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Nick Ahmed goes down for out number two in the top half. Fouled off. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Swung on and hit in the air to left. Henderson will get there, and he puts it away to retire this. Bottom of the inning now, and stepping in is the veteran shortstop, Ozzie Smith. First offering, and he goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. I almost can't believe I'm saying this, but that was the eighth home run of the game for these guys. How about this offensive performance? Is this a live baseball game, or are they taking batting practice right now? Zero. Somebody help oh. me out. This is one of those zero where they say, hey, it's good weather for a snowman, right? That eighth spot looks like it's snowman in the scorebook. Eight bombs so far in this game alone. Crazy. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Denelson Lamet. He's been great on the mound, so we'll see if he can do something with the bat here as well. He's earned a chance to take this at bat. Okay. And hold on there. That's not going to get him in there with the stolen base. Oh, this kind of goes against those unwritten rules of baseball. They're leading big, so there's really no reason for them to steal third right there. And I'm not sure that was taken too kindly in the opposing dugout. But this is yanked down out there at shortstop for the first down. Ricky Henderson stands in looking for home run number three right here as you see what he's done so far in this one. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Hit hard on the ground at third. And there are two away now. So next to hit is Tony Gwynn. It was a solo shot for him in his last at bat. First pitch on its way. And this is lying hard to deep left. And he dives to make a spectacular catch. So now it'll be the four hole hitter to tell Marte. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Yeah, they just haven't had much of an answer, Matty. They've been off balance and baffled all game. He's got a nice, comfortable lead. Oh, and he hammers it to deep right field. Gwynn is going to get back and he'll put this one away on the warning track for the first down. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that hey. time. Christian Walker is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. His slider's been impressive all night long. If he can continue spinning it like that, he's going to be just fine. No runs, no hits, and one error in the ballgame for Arizona. Got him! Four outs away from his date with history. We're getting into the nitty-gritty. That's the second out of the eighth inning, and the pitcher needs only four more outs for a no-hitter. 
sends that one out of play for strike one. The wind up and the 0 1. Now a swing and a miss of a slider for a strike. Man, this dude is locked in on the mound. He's throwing each pitch with confidence. And it's fouled away. Looking to punch him out again. The pitch. Got him. So that's eight perfect innings. And the fans can feel it now as the side is retired. So one, two, three go the Diamondbacks. But this one's pretty much over. 14 to nothing. Now at the plate is Manny Machado. Lifetime against this particular arm. He's one for three. First delivery to him. Hit in the air toward the gap in right center. Long run for the center fielder. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. So one man gone for the Friars in their half of the eighth. And up next, former World Series hero Joe Carter. He's set and the pitch. Ripped down the line. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. So next to bat will be Roberto Alomar. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Lifted in the air to center. Marte is there and it's a three pitch inning as the side. And now Cole Calhoun starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Oh, oh and won the count. Hey. That's taken. Now it's 0 and 2. He's still looking really solid here in the ninth, and I'm sure that big lead has helped him pitch free and easy, but to me, it still looks like he's approaching it like it's a close game. Machado is there, one away. Now at the plate, here is Stephen Volk. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. First pitch is a slider called for a strike. Volk's in a hole, 0-2 to him. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. Ready with another two-strike offering. Strike three. So now he's one out away from perfection. I'll tell you, he looks really dialed in on the bump right there. He's got a shutout going, and he really seems to have this lineup off balance. Even when he challenges them up in the zone, they don't have an answer for it. As Dribble Cabrera is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. And now those that have stuck it out tonight come to their feet. Popped him up. Piazza is under it. Makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Yeah, you've heard when it rains, it pours. Well, it was raining dominance out here in this one. 27 up, 27 down, and he barely broke a sweat half the time. That's one of the rarest feats in all of sports, and I'm just excited I was here to be a part of it. Perfection is always beautiful. Time of the ball game. Three hours and 37 minutes. Thank you for joining us.